Hey, yo, everybody, it's Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to yet another episode of Park Spotlight. Today, we're going to be looking at South Peak Pines, created by Chris Yep Yep, a master builder in this community. And here they say, Welcome to South Peak Pines. This project started with the shop contest and ended up taking nearly a year to complete. Many thanks to everyone who helped me throughout this project, especially Trooper Matthew, Sublines, Starship Rad and Dandy Chiggins. Please venture around the park in an anti-clockwise rotation. <laughs> are you trying to confuse me at counterclockwise? <laughs> there are six coasters for you to find and ride. A couple of them have a short pre-show to keep an eye out for those. Enjoy. Okay, I downloaded a whole lot of audio for this. I really hope there's no copyright issues with this. If at any point the audio cuts or something happens, it's because I got flagged. I had to re-edit the video. Da 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 da. I tried messaging Chris and asking if uh, this had any issues with copyright claims. He has not yet responded. So fingers crossed. Maybe I could just keep the audio down and talk really loud. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> well, there are only six coasters in this park, as you can see from the B-roll. There's something very unique about the aesthetic. It has this almost rustic steampunk nature vibe to it. It's really cool. Nothing like I've, it's it's like nothing I've ever seen before. A lot of custom builds, a lot of custom work, woodwork. It seems like all the buildings are made out of dozens, hundreds of hun upon hundreds of pieces. Um, I see what appears to be one of the best looking bobsled coasters I've ever seen in a, in a park. And there's some really nice surprises with the dive coaster and several of the coasters. So while I think this is a quality over quantity type park, and I think there's a lot of really beautiful things to admire. So why don't we uh, dive right on in and take a closer look. Okay, welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another super smooth, super gigantic 4K mega park spotlight <laughs> with we're letting in 4,000 guests. It was a scenario mode with 700 guests. And I was like, oh, I can't let more guests in because the guest count was locked. So um, after saving the park and reopening it as my own park file, now the guests are actually... Hey, how did you get the path? Oh, wait, is that a thing? I didn't know you could have coasters intersect with paths. Maybe that's a mod or maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I've seen that before. I know people have done that with trains over paths, so maybe I am crazy. Probably me being crazy. Uh, but I like the car ride that is a part of the parking lot is literally rideable by the guests. So with that being said, I'm glad I let 4,000 guests in because now we actually have guests driving through the parking lot. Never have I ever seen that before. I think that some people should take notes out of Chris Yep Yep's concept here of building a parking lot and actually have the guests drive through it. Not only that, it's not just a parking lot tucked off to the side, it's in a park, right? It's a very nature-esque, fun walk through a park to get to the park entrance. So I quite actually like an atmospheric parking lot that has content and, you know, beauty for us to explore. I hear some birds chirping off in the, in the background here. It's a nice scenic way to enter what is, um, Sort of like a nature-themed park. It reminds me of like a national park or something. There's something neat about it. But then as we go deeper, there's a lot of like steampunk and it starts to get crazy. But there's like some cool cabin builds and even like the parking lots using the logs as the, the to divide the spots. It's very clever. So yeah, it's a very um, rustic, I want to say, would be a good word. Uh, theme park and I'm liking the the views the vistas the concepts the viewpoints as you can see here We got this big like ski resort thing going hanging over the cliffside and we're entering in through a tunnel Here's the park entrance a uh, south uh, peak pines. This is got a lot of uh, AKA yep yep land <laughs> It's got a lot of flavor and charm to it So I'm pretty excited about this here park today as it brings and presents us something quite different than what we're used to on the channel. The creator has chosen 9 a.m. as their time of day, but they didn't say anything in the, the review about 
instructions or preferences or anything like that. So I'm assuming I could take liberties to change the time of day myself, but I want to respect the creator's decision to go with 9 a.m. as their decision. Um, and I think it creates some interesting lighting. We have the, the sun is kind of uh, rising, but it's kind of hidden behind this giant mountain slash building. And it, it does let some light poke in on this side of the park, but it's kind of dark on the other side. It's a nice lighting, being like semi-light with a little bit of an orange hue to go really nice and captivating with what we have here, um, really rustic style builds. So yeah, a bit of a, like a Western mashup as well from the looks of it. Welcome to Fort Wallace. As you guys would have saw from the B-roll, Fort Wallace looks incredible. The um, dandy hats, shout out to Dandy Chiggins. This coaster intertwines around the paths and wraps and spirals, and I believe it's an invert. Yep. So, probably one of the most intriguing looking inverts I've ever seen. There's gonna be a lot of realism in this park, but also we don't really normally see parks done in this style. So it's uh, like realism mixed with whatever we're looking at here. And I like it. I like it a lot. All this custom woodwork gone into this uh, gigantic building here. Hundreds and hundreds of logs to make a fort. Fort Wallace, if you will. <laughs> it's looking cool. I really, really like the art style going on here. Very interesting choice, and I like the innovation, bringing something new that we haven't seen. And that's what I love about this game. Here we are all these years later, and people are still coming up with new ideas to present to us. 1.1 kilometers in like 62 miles per hour, 10 inversions on this bad boy. This is going to be a ride. So is it a four seater? I didn't quite check it is. So we can sit in the middle seat for this one, and off we go. Okay, there it is. A really cool coaster design on that. Now, the in the music was a little bit distracting and off-putting to me. Uh, that is the custom music that's been added, and I would really hope that we don't get copyright striked over that because it was just a standard beat. Um, honestly, I felt like there was a lot of better suitable options in Planet Coaster than what we listened there. I, I felt like it didn't really match to me, but that's okay. A minor critique for what was um, an amazing coaster layout. Visually, look at how impressive this is. In fact, I kind of wish I did an orbit view Maybe we could actually do that. Okay, so we got this one going up and we're gonna do an orbit view so I can actually appreciate some of these inversions. All 10 of them. Let's go. <laughs>
Wow, I actually think I preferred the orbit view. <laughs> also think I'm gonna get the, uh, actually no. Well, I'm hearing some more music now that I didn't hear before. Yeah, this is a really captivating area. Reminds me of something out of a video game. I don't know which one though. It's very, uh, unique. Pretty fun. I guess the one downside to this time of day is we're in a lot of shade and the lighting doesn't pop as well. Is this a gigantic train? <laughs> Holy moly. Is there a train inside this train? I sure hope so. Never seen a boarding station like that before. That takes a lot of patience. That's pretty cool. All right, what do we have up here? I can't read that for the life of me. Ooh. Look at that. Wow. Look at the silhouette of the city there. The sun coming through. And a coaster. Surprise, surprise. That's pretty badass. Actually pretty cool to ride that flat ride there. Not mad at it at all. Smiling Coffee? Is that a shout out to uh, Smiling Gal? Hot Doggins? <laughs> Who was checks? This looks nice. It's almost like a little Viking swampy area. Hmm. Quite like this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sing over copyright music in case it's copywritten. It might not detect it if I'm loud enough. <laughs> I don't know. I do not know. Fingers crossed we don't have any issues with this video. Um, because now that I'm recording in uh, 4K, 48,000 bitrate, not only does uh, like rendering is horrifically long. Get that man gaming a gaming laptop. In 2021, Legends helped Shane Turner a new gaming laptop. Fua, Chris, Yep, Yep, Troop, Matthew. What, all these names? Whoa. These legends helped Shane Turner get a new laptop in 2021. I was not aware of this. Congratulations, Shane. Why a gaming laptop? Isn't a gaming laptop like just as much as a PC? I'm not going to question your decisions as long as you got it done. That's cool. I would have definitely contributed to that. 2021 was up, up to. <laughs> I don't know if I was around for that. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I was checked out. Something going on. All right, where, where are we headed? Ooh. This is quite lovely. It's kind of cozy in here. Did it just lead us to the other side of the building, or are we actually in a queue? I think we're in a queue. Oh, it's definitely for this coaster, isn't it? All right, the next coaster of the day, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be just a little bit further down this queue. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? The Pioneer, what do we have? as the uh it's a launch copperhead 1.4 kilometers in length 60 miles per hour nine inversions lots of inversions on these coasters let's uh let's do a track view and see how it goes
Good googly moogly, ladies and gentlemen. I think that might be uh, my favorite coaster in the park. I mean, we've only been on what two, maybe three. I don't know. I'm lo I've lost count. But I'm I'm a big fan of the environmentals of this back area here. Look at that. The way it twists and turns inside of the caverns and the rocks and through the valleys. I really like this riverbed that you put in here. The waterfall. Um, the way the light comes through. It looks really sharp. Big fan of this area and that coaster combined for a really cool experience. Really, really cool. This way to the railway. I do want to check out the railway. Especially because it's an in a it's a train inside of a train, trainception. Love me some good old trainception. Although these people are getting all mixed up, it's this way to the train, guys. Around the corner, going in between the the big train wheels here. And look at this. Oh, look at the clock on the front. That's very nice. Woo. Yeah, let's give this a ride. 100. Are we... <laughs> I gotta see it from this perspective. Watch the train leave the train. Let's take a look at this. All aboard. Any day now. And here we go. The train leaves the train station. This is gorgeous. This might just be the best ride in the park because look at all of the views we get of all this crazy environment. Wow, this is really cool. So far, it has potential to be one of the best train rides I've seen in a park. Certainly a, a captivating environment. I'm looking forward to that bobsled. That looks so much fun. What a gorgeous view. This custom bridge that is beautiful oh my god totally worth riding this train I don't think there's multiple stops either it's literally a train ride I love that
This, this is simply breathtaking. I have no words. I love this train ride. So glad we went on this. I mean, you made such an epic boarding station. It's, it's, it's calling to me to go on it. So well done on that part. Give it up for the train within a train ride. Trainception ride. Absolutely 10 out of 10 train experience. What a beautiful, breathtaking environment. That was incredible. Really good job, Chris Yep Yep, on the train ride. It is um, not often that I'm gushing over a train ride, but that is a, a, a chapsel. Um, that is, that is a, a train ride worth riding 100 i like the little swampiness that this pond is uh, acquiring from the surrounding greenery did you paint grass in there i don't even know that looks so realistic to me this is phenomenal even more phenomenal in 4k <laughs> love it absolutely love it Wow, freaking we. Let's go adventure forth and see what else this park has to offer. There's a dive coaster in the back left there that I'm really looking forward to. It goes underground right between the plaza. That seems really interesting. Oh, look, they've got a little ride going around um, whatever that building is there. Look at the tiling on this. This looks really nice. All of these builds are really expensive. Like... Just an FYI, I'm getting 30 FPS on this park. It's thir uh, 40 now, between 30 and 40. Um, it was about letting 4,000 guests in literally had no impact on the frame rate. I don't know why, but I decided to let them in anyways. But this is um, a very expensive park. All of these builds cost a lot. That's a 1,400 piece wall right there. So this is one of the computer melting parks, or I should say X computer melting parks that um, even Chris in scenario mode locked it to 700 guests. And I'm so glad uh, I waited to feature this one because now I get to experience it um, in 4K with the beautiful lighting, the beautiful bit rate, and with guests in the park at a good frame rate. But yeah, this one would have absolutely toppled my other computer. So... Um, I think this one is one of the ones that was worth the wait, hopefully. And hopefully Chris Yep Yep in appreciates the quality of the video and hope hopefully agrees that it was also worth the wait. So we have arrived at what appears to be the dive coaster. There it is there, the descent. And uh, there's a look at the stats there. Six, uh, 700 meters in length, 80 miles per hour. Biggest drop is 63 meters. Let's go, Chris. And three airtime counts. I love to see it. This uh, is quite a significant drop. So we're going to go seat view for this one, obviously. We're going right to the middle, and off we go. Short, 
sweet but gets the job done and that has to be one of the coolest drops on a uh, dive coaster that i have seen i love the way that this looks here what an intricate build and uh the hang there see you on the other side pretty sick pretty sick we got a hammer swing over here let's check this out it's a little um adventure vibes going on over here i like that little cabin let's take a look at that cabin there this little swamp shed little shedmeyer shed <laughs> that's really well crafted let's go chris yep yep yeah really captivating swampy area i love the center plaza i mean look at this there is a gondola. Should I take the gondola? I don't know. I think we're just going to make... Hmm. Is the summit the gondola? No. It's the bobsled. Oh. Another, um... Shout out to Zay for... May his soul rest in peace. I love you, buddy. Chant. It, this is Chant here. And the original t-shirt that we made this for. You can buy it on the, uh... The merch store. It was Chant Bonking Zayfor. Zayfor is a server mod. We like to give our server mods different names. And he was the Dex R and will forever be the Dex R server mod. Originally it was Zayfor there. She was bonking. But I guess whoever made this decided to make it Dex R. I guess his uh, alter ego form. And I love this. I was actually going to do this uh, Chant Bonking Zayfor for the memorial park. But it looks like it's already been done. So you guys should definitely add this or uh, send this into Rai Rai for Zayfor's Memorial Park. And I, I have seen people mentioning it in the comments um, what happened to Zayfor. Uh, he did pass away and if you want to know more check the about section of my channel. I wrote a big thing about it and I know not everybody checks the community posts but that is where I posted it and as well as in Discord. So um, if you need more information that's where you can find it. But yes we love you. Love you forever Zayfor. And may you rest in peace, buddy. Okay. Let's head over to the summit. Ride this one with Zephyr at our sides. <laughs> All right. There's the gondola passing over us. Oh no, did one of the bobsleds fly off the track? Can we poke in the, uh, a hole here? Oh. <laughs> Look at all the shingles. These are hand placed, 2,261 shingles. You are a madman, Chris. No wonder this was a computer melting park. When you go to that level of detail, uh, it's no wonder. Wow, look at this view here. The Carpenter's Revenge. We're gonna have to go check that out. All right, what do we have? The Summit here, and it is a bobsled coaster, almost a kilometer in length, 41 miles per hour. Nothing too substantial standing out to me there. Seat view feels really low. Are we sitting in a child's perspective? We are. So we're gonna do the pop-up view instead, and off we go.
beautiful landscape. Oh, man, I love getting to the top of that bobsled and seeing the view of that. I think we can actually go up there. But before we do that, I want to check out the Carpenter's Revenge. That is epic. Oh, it's a woody. My goodness. This is uh, quite the intricate uh, wooden coaster here. Maybe my new favorite ride in the park? We'll have to wait and see. All right, the Carpenter's Revenge, it is a wooden coaster. Here's like the stats, 660 meters in length, three airtime counts, 45 miles per hour, 20 meters, the biggest drop. Nothing too crazy about this wooden coaster. We'll have to see how the banking is. I mean, it has 7.24 vertical G-forces. I mean, that might sound a little crazy. I wanna ride this at the back of the train. Let's go. All right, it is in fact a wooden coaster with a twist, some quite heavy twists at that. The banking was basically completely 45 degrees sideways. I really appreciated that. I had a feeling something was gonna stand out with this and that was in fact the heavy duty sideways banking. I really liked the way that turned out. Um, while it was a bit on the short side, pretty damn awesome. So does it beat the, uh, the one over there? I forgot what it was called. I'm not sure if it does for me but a close second, I would say, for sure. All right, um, I'm gonna pretend to take the gondolas because they're so hard to like find a seat. I'm just gonna go up. We're dodging them all. And now we're at the top. Did I miss the exit? There it is chair swings at the top. I do want to check this out, actually. Woo-wee! Look at this park. Gorgeous. There's a giant lighthouse up here. There's the uh, top of the bobsled there that I was raving about. Is there a drop tower or something inside of here? I think there is. A drop tower lighthouse. Oh, it's taking off right now. Let's check it out. Oh. I don't know if it's actually going to peek out the top. Does it? I think we have to wait for a new load. Kind of cool if it just like poked at the top there. You know what I haven't seen in a long time? A Horror Heights. I guess we have uh, October coming up next month. I'm going to have to see if I can dig up some Horror Heights. Maybe some Halloween parks or something. Get all the way to the top. Oh, we're going to poke out, I think. Oh, perfect. Oh, wrong view. Oh, too bad. Well, it's not doing it justice, so I'm just going to go up there. <laughs> yes. There we go. Just go stand on the deck here and get some vertigo. Holy moly. Woo! It's the bobsled. My goodness, this is incredible. Was this my favorite coaster? No, that's the, the dived coaster. So, just at a first glance from up here, we may have hidden all of the rides. I'm going to check the ride list just to be sure. Um, I found a secret Easter egg or something. I have no idea what this is and how we get there. I thought it was like kind of like a, what is this? Hold the phone. Let's see if we can actually get here. Huh. 
there's no way down here from the looks of it, but it is down here. So it's a complete Easter egg. Blub the Builder, Shane Turner, Wix Club, Crim Condiments, Cody Bits. We have like this whole cyberpunk area down here. I'm glad I stumbled across this because look at this. This is crazy. Rice, Emily, yep, yep. B Galcium BTH. Class Mamelia. Tons of shoutouts. The one and only Zay4. Love you, buddy. Wow. Wow. What is it? I can't select it. Where's the operator? There he is. Let's throw it into test mode and give it a seat view. Let's see what Sierra this is all about. Lima, Charlie Gulf. Charlie Gulf receiving. Go ahead, Sierra Lima. Charlie Gulf, we have located the underground tunnels. There's an entire city down here. This wasn't in the spec we dug up. Can you see any signs of what we discussed in the briefing? Stand by. We found what appears to be uh, the entrance, or at least an entrance. Permission to proceed with caution. Permission granted. Maintain radio comms at all times. Proceed. Seems to be some kind of lab inside here. No one around, though. Looks like something could have gone wrong. There's an industrial lift. It, it only goes down. Permission to proceed, Charlie Gulf. Granted. Two IC1 males spotted. They don't seem to be acknowledging us. Continue your search, Sierra Lima. What is this place? Tr Charlie, the worst is to It's classified. Explosion! Mayday, mayday, mayday! Extraction required! Extraction required! <laughs> Sierra Lima, what's your status? What's my status? You've got some explaining to do. We're fucking out. Charlie, you've got some explaining to do. <laughs> Confetti, please, Jerry. Good googly moogly. That was incredible. That's got to be the best ride in this entire park. I loved that. That was intense. Oh my god. Why was there no way down here? That's what I'm wondering. Like, what it what? what? How come you didn't have like a ride that takes us down here? Or was it down here? View at night. Wait, there was a way down here? Press play. Shack time. There was a way down here. If you're hearing this recording, I've probably been gone for some time. Whether I'm still alive or not, well, I don't hold much hope. They want my home. My sanctuary. I won't give it up. Not for such people as those who bury their secrets far below the depths of the Earth's crust. With any hope, if you've made it this far, then you may be onto what they're hiding. Please keep searching, for the sake of humanity and to save those few that may remain. Good luck. Tread carefully. Whoa. Okay, so we are walking the queue after. I tried looking at the queue backwards, and I was like, oh no, there's, there's no way through here. But I must have missed something. So there is a way down here, but it, it's hidden in the forest at the back of a swamp near a shed. So definitely one that's easy to miss. So glad I've been checking the ride list because to me, that would have been devastating to miss that ride because 
Oh, I did come back here, didn't I? I just missed this little staircase here. Oh, I thought it was like a, a dead end. It looks that way, right? It looks like a wall there. But there's, in fact, a crevice. Wow, what a unique and hit, hidden surprise. I mean, that was awesome. <laughs> I want to see a whole park like that to have like this weird like cyberpunk sci-fi facility in the depths of this park it was uh ex ex completely uh out of left field there i did not suspect that one bit so what was this scenario only chortle huh and this last is uh we we didn't it says do not ride <laughs> literally says do not ride oh I, what I'm so confused. How are the guests on here if it says do not ride? They're getting on somehow and it's hilarious to me seeing these guests driving through the parking lot. It says do not ride, but the guests are like, I don't care. I'm going on this car ride. And that cracks me up. I want to drive around with them. Oh, so they can get over to it. That's hilarious. And the guests don't care. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely amazing. What a unique and interesting park with a pleasant surprise twist at the very end. And uh, again, I am super glad I waited to feature this one for the new computer because yeah, this one for sure would have just destroyed my old computer. And, and to seeing it uh, the way we are presenting it the way we are here, it looks just groundbreaking. Uh, a unique art style that I've never seen before. Unique presentation. Uh, nice choice of time of day. I think my favorite area has to be this whole crazy wallet Fort Wallace area. I think it's just so intricately done. But my favorite coaster would be uh, this, the Pioneer. I really liked how it traversed through here. It had a little bit more length, a little bit more fun, a little bit more exploration than the Wallace. But the Wallace looks uh, really captivating from the uh, perspective of the like the the guest the ground. Now, obviously, my all-time favorite thing of this whole park was the hidden surprise at the end. That was phenomenal. I really, really liked that. So hopefully we don't get any copyright strikes or any claims. Sometimes when that happens, like I got to take the video down, cut it out, uh, give you guys apology on the video, and then render it again and upload it. And sometimes it finds new ones the second time around that it didn't find the first time. And then it, I have to do it all over again. Sometimes I've had to re-upload a video four or five times cutting out copyright stuff, and it ends up wasting an entire day of my time because these especially with these 4k videos they take an hour or two to render um and then uploading them is about the same so it's it's a huge pain in the butt so um just for anyone using custom media just make sure that you know you've tested it when before you send it in and if it isn't copyright free just don't send it in to me and that sort of thing but I appreciate you guys going through the effort to make sure it's copyright free and all that because I don't need any strikes on my channel or anything. So yeah, hopefully all goes well. And if everything does go well, then you guys got to see the same experience with, as I did with the same audio that I experienced. And that was a treat. I, I also think my favorite thing about this park, I got multiple things I like about this park, but I really like the train station. That was also like a cherry on top experience. I like how there wasn't multiple drop off points, but instead you made it a ride. It had some really cool captivating areas. This whole park is something special. It's something unique. I've never seen anything like it to this degree. So way to take like a almost like an alpine woods build style and put a huge twist on it. And the reason it looks so unique compared to everything we've seen in the past is because of all the custom pieces, right? Everything's custom built. Um, like we looked at that one roof over here. It's like a thousand shingles. This one shed is 2,200 pieces. This is why it's a computer slayer. While we have seen computer uh, parks way bigger than this run better, it's because they use the standard pieces within the game, which are a lot less uh, or a lot more cost efficient. When you build things out of tiny, tiny pieces, it has to render all of those into game. So it, it just becomes very, very expensive. And I would say that style of building was uh, probably inefficient and in, uh, not very really worth the payoff in the past. But now that we can actually run these parks, it's uh, probably we can now finally appreciate those types of details at a good quality. So I hope it, the, the, it was worth the wait, Chris. Yep, yep. Absolutely love this park here today. Want to know what you guys thought of it? What was your favorite part and why? There was a lot of little hidden secrets. That last ride underground at the end there was 
really quite a joy. Pretty awesome at that. Yeah, so love to hear your thoughts. What did you think of South Peak Pines? Fire away down in the comments below for myself and Chris. Yep, yep. And thank you all so much for watching. That's going to do it for me in today's episode of Park Spotlight. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.